Hello, I'm Menifee Mayor Scott Mann, and I thank you for joining the city for this year in review as we highlight the city's accomplishments and milestones, and dare I say, pardon all of our dust. Menifee is one of the fastest growing cities in the region with over 35,000 rooftops with more room to grow, an award-winning school system that's second in Riverside County. We have over a dozen parks with a trail system to go with it, and our median age is 37, which is down from 56 just eight short years ago. We listen to you, and in response to your feedback, Menifee's economic engine has been on overdrive, bringing businesses, amenities, entertainment, and infrastructure to the community, all in an effort to save and bring back the estimated $400 million in annual sales tax leakage that's going to surrounding cities. We've been extremely busy this year and I've asked my colleagues to help highlight our partnerships, progress, and posterity. Let's see what they have to say. Good morning and welcome to District 1 in the great city of Menifee. I'm Mayor Pro Tem Greg August and the elected representative for District 1. I'd like to share with you this morning some exciting news, events, and projects taking place in the district. I'm pleased to be standing here in the community of Sun City just south of the Cherry Hills Plaza in a spot that will be the future home of Sun City's new fire station number seven, one of the busiest fire stations in the state. The city broke ground on this project April 27th on what will be an 8,000 square foot station including upgraded living spaces, an apparatus bay, four bedrooms, captain's quarters, a serenity garden, and will be the city's emergency operations center. This structure, a leadership in energy and environmental design, will be a capstone to the Sun City community and to the city's partnership with CAL FIRE that together forced this project to move quickly, where in just nine months, the city went from land acquisition, bid design, and now into construction. The estimated time for completion of this project is the summer of 2017. From conception to shovels in the ground to completion, it will be the city's first owned building. Now let's move across the street. I'm now in the Cherry Hills Plaza, standing in front of the award-winning Crevecho Restaurant, the very popular regional Mexican restaurant, where people come from all over, listen to live music while enjoying unique Mexican entrees prepared by acclaimed chef Rosie O'Connor. Just four doors away is the new Myrna's Cafe and Grill, recently nominated by the Chamber of Commerce this year's best restaurant, featuring authentic Mediterranean American food, live music, and belly dancing. Also very popular with morning walkers within the community and just around the corner is JoJo's, Sun City's only yogurt and coffee shop. This 40-acre 1960s built plaza is the location for the Sun City Library, two major supermarkets, five major banks, a historic U.S. post office, four pharmacies, and more than 100 local retail and commercial establishments. New upscale tenants are being welcomed to the plaza routinely. The city is currently working on revitalization plans for this 1960s plaza, trying to find unique ways fresh to center that is already moving forward, showing potential of becoming a social, cultural, entertainment, and economic showcase for the city. With a median age of 45 years patronizing the center, we need to think outside the box and into the future to keep this old and historic gym in Sun City relevant for future generations to enjoy while keeping its legacy and rich history alive. Here we are standing on Bradley Road looking south towards Newport Road over Salt Creek, a county made draining is for the control channel that floods during any prolonged rain, preventing Sun City residents and emergency vehicles direct access to and from Newport Road, making it a very high priority project in the Sun City community. The Bradley Road Salt Creek Bridge, one of two capital improvement projects located in District 1 is a 700-foot bridge spanning the channel. It is a $10 million project presently in design with a projected completion date to be no later than year's end 2018. The other capital improvement project in District 1 is the $35 million I-215 McCall Interchange project. The design will be similar to what we see at the I-215 Newport Interchange. Project completion will be sometime in 2020 and in time to meet increased traffic flows caused by new commercial and residential development and the new Walmart store planned for this area. Here we are on McCall Boulevard, looking south along Sun City Boulevard, where you can see the city's latest road median beautification project in progress. As a representative of the Sun City community, it is my main concern to advocate for improvements to our community. And thanks to City Manager Rob Johnson and City staff, over the past year, We've had much progress in beautifying this area of the city. The Sun City Median Improvement Project continues to beautify our neighborhood, which features five additional median areas along Sun City Boulevard, adding to last year's improvements on Bradley Road and Cherry Hills Boulevard. 
The new WaterWise landscape and drip irrigation systems will make these new medians more efficient and assist with beautifying our community while being in compliance with water district drought restrictions. In other areas of District 1, our community services and public works department completed or have in progress restriping, posting signs, speed limit surveying, and pedestrian access improvements. Also, numerous playground and park equipment upgrades while offering year-round activities and events for seniors and young families. I'm very pleased in what the city staff has been able to accomplish this past year and look forward to more good news for District 1 in the upcoming year. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Matt Leesmeyer, council member for District 2, home of majestic rural landscapes, bustling growth on almost every corner, beautiful parks and community pride. I'm proud to represent District 2 and work alongside our remarkable city management team and staff to advocate for better streets, a safer community, and growth that fits our needs and makes sense. In District 2, the word progress sums up the year. We celebrated a grand opening of Spirit Park in December, a $4.5 million investment, which today is packed with friends and families. We have started the Central Park and Menifee Town Center, a five-acre park featuring an outdoor amphitheater, a splash pad, and a tot lot. This is a $3 million investment that will be the future hub of community activity. The city of Menifee was recently designated, along with 230 other cities nationwide, as a playful city USA. Menifee's Community Services Department oversees nine parks with four planned for 2017. The Parks Master Plan, a guiding document for future decisions about parks, trails, and open space, was recently completed this year. Through multiple community input opportunities, residents requested more trails and sports fields as some of Menifee's top priorities. The city even received its first Helen Putnam Award for the Youth Advisory Committee's work on the plan. As our population continues to grow, infrastructure improvements and economic development efforts to bring new shopping center amenities are coming online to keep up with demand. We're paying attention to details as we build posterity for future generations of Menifee residents. The Town Center Marketplace, Menifee's newest and largest shopping center, will open in summer of 2016. This property was 95% leased before construction ever began, something we haven't seen since before the Great Recession. Town Center Marketplace features restaurants, retail stores, and an Aldi's grocery store. New housing developments are going up and families are moving in at one of the fastest rates in Southern California, making Menifee's total population soar to over 90,000, a growth spurt of 2.9% compared to last year. Scott Road Interchange is a project in the city's capital improvement program that ultimately reconstructs the existing interchange. It expands by four lanes, builds two new loop ramps, and improves freeway access. This $52 million project will be completed in two phases to allow for construction to possibly even begin this year. I am proud of the partnerships the city has nurtured with RCTC, the Riverside County Transportation and Land Management Agency, Caltrans, and our design team to finally get this project off the ground. It's a project that will help unlock the development in this area of my district. We completed the signal at Holland and Bradley Road, improving circulation and safety for residents and the youth in the area, something that was requested in partnership with the Paris Union School District. We have completed storm drain improvements in Quail Valley at various locations and made sidewalk repairs throughout the city. The Newport Widening and Resurfacing Project is a combined $4 million project that will add medians, landscape, hardscape, resurface, and wide Newport Road from Hahn to Marietta. This design is 95% complete and expected to start this summer. Thank you again for joining me in District 2. I look forward to what Menifee has in store this upcoming year and cannot wait to update you again. Some people like to dream extreme. Here at Menifee, we live extreme! Hello and welcome to District 3. My name is Lisa Sobeck, District 3 Councilwoman. My beautiful district is located on the east side of Menifee. I am proud of our community and the many signs of progress, partnerships, and posterity in the 3rd District. I am also extremely proud of the City Council's commitment toward improving our traffic and circulation within the city. We want to make it easier for our residents and visitors to get around to live, work, and play, and also help our businesses flourish. For instance, progress is being made within the City's $170 million 10 Project Capital Improvement Program. The New Port Road Interchange Project, a $48 million project, is nearly complete. This project was funded by a Menifee Bond, TUMP, STP, and utility companies, and no general fund monies for this project was used. And this year, residents survived the long-awaited Menifee Merge, where we moved traffic to the north end of the bridge and demolished the south side. The merge went very smooth, and most residents 
had no idea that it even occurred. Now that is a sign of great communication, engineering, and public safety. The new and improved Newport Interchange will feature six lanes of through traffic, eliminate left turns, and improve traffic flow along the main east-west artery of Menifee. This is expected to be completed at the end of 2016. The city also has been working tirelessly to ensure that the Holland Road overpass moves forward. This $20 million project is part of the city's capital improvement plan. And recently, the mitigated negative declaration was circulated for comments and is expected to be in front of the city council in August for final approval of the design. This project, with the last portion of funding being identified, is on track to start this year. Additionally, the city recently completed traffic signal improvement at Garbani and Antelope, allowing for a safer intersection and better traffic circulation. Additional progress is seen in District 3, such as with the construction at the Shops at the Lakes project, corner of Newport and Menifee Road, where a new Blue Ribbon Stater Brothers already broke ground and will be complete by the end of 2016. This center will feature a Starbucks drive through restaurants and retail options. In addition, just across the street, a new Rite Aid is under construction, and at Archibald's Diner is starting to grade, and a new AM PM car wash is completed. These are welcomed additions to the east side of Menifee, where residents have requested these amenities and shopping options that are common on the west side for residents and visitors. We have added Forever 21, Home Goods, Dog House, and Lens Crafters to the Countryside Marketplace, adding to its already powerful center lineup. This year, the Community Service Department, Inland Area Habitat for Humanity, local nonprofit organizations, many businesses, and over 500 volunteers showcase their community pride while participating in the fourth annual Menifee Better Together Community Cleanup event. Together, we cleaned up 35 tons of trash and recyclables, beautified over 40 senior homes by doing house painting, exterior home maintenance, and repairs. Together, we can make a difference in our community, one street, one neighborhood at a time. This kind of example will help lead our future generations and teach them what community pride looks like and how giving back makes a difference. Our city businesses, partners, and volunteers are what makes Menifee so special. The city of Menifee is thankful for the Chamber of Commerce. They partner with our city and the business community to ensure that we are taking care of existing businesses assisting them with possible expansion and planning for the ones that are coming. Together, we are making great strides. Our featured workshops, seminars, roundtables, and monthly coffees are just a few of the ways we are better connecting with our community from all angles. As a growing city, it is also important that we take time to recognize and appreciate our community citizens and businesses who go above and beyond to ensure that Menifee shines. That is why I brought to my council colleagues the Outstanding Citizen Award program. This is just another way that as a city, for posterity reasons, we as a council can show others and our youth that service above self really matters. Thank you to our partners, our city staff, our schools, businesses, visitors, and residents. Your example shows that Menifee has heart. You are what truly makes Menifee unique and a city we can all be proud of now and into the future. This one's for you, Menifee. Welcome to District 4. I'm John Denver, Councilman for the Romaland area, Heritage Lakes, and even parts of Sun City. As Menifee continues to grow and change, you'll see some of the city's top priorities on display right here in District 4. We're improving traffic circulation and making real progress. Progress. When I think of this word, the Line A project comes to mind. This $47 million project is expected to be completed in early 2017. It opens up development opportunities in the homeland, in the Romaland communities, by providing flood protection for nearly 12,000 500 acres in Menifee, Paris, and even Riverside County. Of these, 9,300 acres are zoned for future residential uses and close to 2,000 acres for retail and commercial. 
This is a great economic driver for my district. I want to thank our city, our county, and flood control agency for their partnership in this exciting project. The city recently completed the Safe Route to School project near Romaland Elementary School a $600,000 project that added sidewalks, widening of the roadway, and added stop signs for improved safety for our youth going to and from school. Another street improvement was the completion of the Missing Link project connecting Menifee and Palomar roads along Case Road. Additional stop signs were installed at busy intersections and Matthews Road was resurfaced. A $350,000 project resurfaced and beautified the Encanto Corridor. The city partnered with the Oasis Veterans Club to create a project to appropriately retire American flags. Together, they placed drop boxes at the Senior Center, the City Hall, and each fire station in our city. Over 180 American flags have been collected since April. Boy Scouts are conducting American flag retirement ceremonies to build a community tradition. The military banner program is expanding into District 4. So are commercial and retail businesses. As example, Jack in the Box, the AMPM on Highway 74 are expected to open this summer. I look forward to next year when I can share even more progress that's in underway in District 4, such as developments of Heritage Square, the alignment of Highway 74 to connect Ethanac through Paris, almost to Lake Elsinore, past Interstate 15, and the medical corridor along McCall. This new connectivity will provide the amenities, services, and shopping options that come with a growing city. I thank you for visiting Menifee District 4. We are the district of great opportunity, housing options, future job growth, and a close-knit community. Thank you once again for joining us for this year in review. We look forward to the many new exciting projects around town, and I look forward to sharing with you what city staff and council has been working on. Our progress, partnerships, and posterity makes Menifee one of the most desirable places to raise a family, do business, and play. We encourage you to visit us here in the beautiful city of Menifee. I'll see you around town.